Now, let's deal with the next step. Let me call it step number three. I'm going to call it step number three. Just for simplicity, okay? You don't have to follow the rules. Uh, you don't have to follow the, the, the steps, but for me, they do structure your work, okay? Step number three is where we involve the real client. By the real client, I'm referring to uh, Kamohel. Can you see now? Because this money at the end of the day belongs to Kamohel. I must show that this money belongs to Kamohel because at the end of the day, we need to account to Kamohel. So this 3.5, belongs to Kamohel. It's just that Kamohel has been represented. Okay, so we're going to deal with the 3,500 and at the same time any cost associated with 3.5. Like I said, if I collect money on your behalf, if you say Sylvester, you are there in Houting and I'm in Eastern Cape. Can you please go and collect this 3,500 from someone and on my behalf? Please deduct money for transport. Deduct any cost involved. So it means at the end of the day, the person who instructed me who is from Eastern Cape won't get the whole 3,500. I'll take 3,500 and deduct whatever costs I incurred in the process and give that person the remainder. So the same thing is going to happen. So the next thing I'm going to record, and I can just say record. the amount collected. And associated, let me call it like this, associated costs respectively. I hope it makes sense. So we if there are any costs, I'm also going to show them. So firstly, uh, that amount that I collected is going to be what? 3,000 So I'm going to first deal with 3,500. So this 3,500 I need to collect. But I must show that this belongs to what? This belongs to the client. So the transaction is going to be between the, uh, the, the, the correspondent and the real client. So this is how we are going to do. So obviously, because, okay, this is our clear client. This is a uh, this. So now, obviously, when we receive money, if we give money to Kamohelo, remember, this is a, a, a trust creditor. So we must always come on the credit side to show that that money belongs to Kamohelo. But that money comes from money. It must be taken from money, from the correspondent. So the co this Thirty uh, thousand and uh, let's say this amount that is the real cash, but the amount collected will come this side. So we're gonna come here and write Kamohelo. So that's what we call the trust account. So you normally put this in the trust channel, something called trust channel. So I'm gonna say trust. Okay, and then I'll come here. How much was that? That was 3.5. That was 3.5. And obviously, this must be taken to Kamohelo. Can you see now Kamohelo's account is affected? So we took it out of the correspondent and we take it to the relevant person. So obviously, we're going to say correspondent. So first. By the way, I'm Sylvester, this is me. Uh, and then trust. Okay. And then how much? 3,500. So it shows that, yes, now the amount has been transferred to Scamfellas Trust. You can see I came to the trade side, means it went up. I took it from that account to this account. But at the same time, if I can leave it like this, this means that we owe Kamohelo how much? 3,000. This means we owe Kamohelo 3,500. So it means we need to make sure that we deduct whatever cost 
that was associated there. So let me go back, the cost associated, remember I said, here I said the cost associated, let me write it down. So by the cost associated here, let me just write it, associated cost. So it will be all the costs incurred. Remember uh, from the statement, the total of everything is going to be 200 plus 100 plus 350. All this will be the total cost associated. So it's going to be 300 plus 350, which is going to be 650. So all these costs, irrespective of their nature, some of our uh, disbursements, it doesn't matter, but the fact is these costs are associated to this 3.5. So we need to deduct them from 3.5. We must also show them in the books of account. That's why I go there. Remember, I came here, I increased the account. So meaning for me to take that cost out of that, I must come this side and increase the account. So I'll come here and I'll just write, okay, it's between the correspondent, I'm going to write correspondent. Trust. Is it? How much is the cost? Let me say six hundred and eight. So can you see by the time when I balance this account, the amount won't be three point five anymore. It's gonna be less. Okay. So at the same time, who must be compensated for this cost? Correspondent service distribution. Now, so I mean, you must go to the opposite side of this. You must come here. You see and say, come ahead. Trust. You see now, how much? Six. I don't know if it makes sense. So this is how you need to approach that step. I hope it makes sense.